Would you like some toast? Just take one. Would you like to just take one? Oh, that one looks good. Yeah. Oh, would you like a piece? Oh, yum. You did want the whole plate, didn't you? So the babies are just enjoying some peanut butter on toast and we've just lowered their footrests on the trip traps because they have grown so much. We should have probably lowered them a little bit earlier, but they grew too fast, didn't you? Yeah, and they look just right now. Oh, that's a big bite. So the twins are just enjoying some peanut butter toast and these two have been eating so much lately and so they eat all sorts of foods now but I'd say one of their favorites is peanut butter on toast. But they also have been trying lots and lots and lots of veggies and fruit and they're both really good eaters. They both really love food so that's really good. I couldn't really say which um, out of the two was pickier because they're both picky in different ways. Cosmo really likes a hot meal to be, he just threw his toast off. Didn't you buddy? Cosmo really likes a hot meal to be spoon fed to him, like a rice and curry or something like that. Whereas Sylvie is a lot better at like picking her food and eating it. Uh oh, where's your toast? Oh and now Sylvie's just breaking hers up into teeny tiny pieces. Probably just for fun. She's just gonna drop that on the floor. There it goes. Cheeky. Cheeky. Oh, you're cheeky too. Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. <laughs> so they're both very good eaters, but they are also both very good at throwing their food all over the floor. And it ends up in a big mess, which is uh, to be expected when you have little ones. But it does mean a lot more cleaning for us. Which brings me to something really, really exciting. We got a new vacuum cleaner. This is a D-Bot from Ecovax. It's an N8 Pro, and we are so excited to use it for the very first time. We unboxed her this morning, but she hasn't had her maiden voyage yet. We're just setting her up with the app. Ready for network setup. Ooh. What do you think? And hopefully she can help us clean this rug. It's in need of a good vacuum, isn't it? All right, are we ready? Yeah. Let's go. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, so it's making like a map of our house. Oh yeah, so it's just gonna make a map. Um, once it's done, it will sort of have like a floor plan of our house, won't yeah, it? Yeah, so cool. <laughs> it's so smart, I can't believe it. <laughs> Okay, it's okay. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> 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 A bit unsure. I think Sylvie likes it. I 
So thanks so much to Ecovacs for sponsoring this video. We're already loving our new D-Bot N8 Pro as it's been zipping around the house cleaning like a pro. I love that it does such a good job at cleaning and it cleans as good as a regular vacuum would, which is really important for us as we have so many people in our family. We have a lot of foot traffic and we end up having to vacuum, you know, pretty often. We should probably do it once a day. And with the D-Bot N8 Pro, we will probably just do it once a day, maybe when everyone is out. But the thing I love about it is that you can control it from an app on your phone, so you can turn it on and off when you're not even at home. My other favorite feature is the mapping. With the true mapping, laser-based mapping and navigation technology, it's able to create like a floor plan of your house, which means it can navigate more efficiently and you can customize where and how you want your house to be cleaned. Another amazing feature that it has is it comes with a mopping system. So not only can it vacuum, it can mop as well. It is definitely an amazing little robot. And if you guys are in the market for a vacuum robot, I highly recommend the Ecovax D-Bot N8 Pro. It's such an amazing little machine. So I think the twins loved the D-Bot. Yeah. <laughs> And great fun um, chasing it around. <laughs> I think they definitely had different reactions though. Sylvie um, loved it. She wanted to make best friends <laughs> with the D-Bot. <laughs> Didn't you, cheeky girl? And Cosmo was a little bit more cautious. He was like, mm, I kind of want to make friends, but I'm going to steer clear. <laughs> Not going to get too close because I don't know you very well yet. <laughs> so I think he'll just have to warm up a little bit. Yeah. Which is so funny. I don't know if you guys remember from like um, previous videos. Cosmo absolutely loves the vacuum cleaner, like the regular vacuum cleaner. So he certainly does have a uh, mixed, mixed relationships with our um, appliances. <laughs> <laughs> So what did you guys think of the D-Bot? It was cool. It was cool. Felix has the packaging on his head that came from the box. <laughs> so do you guys think our D-Bot needs a name? Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. What do you guys think we should name it? D-Boot. Um, it's D... D... Wait. Delicious? D... Leftover dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> leftover, is it leftover dinner? Yeah, because I have it all calling things leftover dinners. <laughs> <laughs> D-Tob, what's that? Um, it's, it's tall but it's a bit boxed up backwards. Oh, yeah. And it's a bit Tob. Tob Tobby. Tobby. So normal, no normal names like John or Sally? It's a no, no. <laughs> Yeah, the special name is. The special name is Leftover Dinner. <laughs> I have a name. I, but I think it's a robot. Oh, yeah, I think it is a robot. I think that's my name. That's your name for it? Robot? Put your hand up if you want to call it Robot. Put your hand up if you like um, D Bot. Put your hand up for leftover dinners. <laughs> All right. So we'll call it leftover dinners, maybe D Bot for short. What do you think, Coco? <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys for watching our video. We'll see you again next time.